Hi everyone and welcome to our next Tinkercad tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to build a simple circuit and look at how electricity flows through that circuit. We're going to take a look at something called Ohm's Law. And Ohm's Law is based on the voltage, the resistance, and the current in a circuit. The formula for Ohm's Law is voltage is equal to current times resistance. Or if I change it around and use my algebra skills, I get current is equal to voltage divided by resistance. So if I know the voltage, in other words, the DC voltage of the battery, and if I know the resistance in a circuit, I can determine the current that should flow in that circuit. Now, if we take a look at this formula here, we can see that if we have a circuit where the resistance stays the same, but the voltage goes up, if this number gets bigger, then this number, the current, must get bigger. The bigger the voltage, the higher the current if the resistance stays the same. Or if the voltage of the battery stays the same, but we somehow change the resistance in the circuit, if this number goes down, if it becomes smaller, then current gets bigger. Or if the resistance gets larger and voltage stays the same, then the current goes down. So there's a relationship shown here by something called Ohm's Law, which determines what the current will be. For instance, if we know the voltage and we know the resistance in a circuit. So we're going to go into Tinkercad and we are going to build a simple circuit. You can see I've got a breadboard and I've got a 9 volt battery hooked up already and what I'm going to do is I am going to put in a single resistor and I'm going to pick a resistance of 4.5 kilo ohms which is 4,500 ohms. And then what I'm going to do is scroll down and I'm going to grab a multimeter. I'm going to put the multimeter up here, like so. And when I let go, I have to determine with my multimeter if I want it to determine the voltage, determine the resistance, or the amperage, which is the current. And that's what I want to do in this case. So I'm going to click on that. Now, the way that you must connect an ammeter to measure current is it itself has to be part of the circuit. So if I put in a wire from here, and I'm going to go right to the positive rail. And let's make that red. What I want to happen is electricity should flow out here and go through this wire into my ammeter. And then I'm going to connect to this end here to one side of the resistor. And then to complete the circuit, I'm going to draw or put in a wire from here to the ground. And let's make that black. Now, if I have built this correctly it's not an open circuit when I start the simulator current should flow and I should see the value for the current here so if I start the simulator sure enough it comes out to 2.00 milliamps let's go and take a look at the calculation so remember I have a 9 volt battery and my resistor here is 4.5 kilo ohms so Let's just go in and look at this calculation. So if the voltage is 9 volts and the resistance is 4.5 kilo ohms. Then in order to figure out what this should be, 
is I'm going to keep my 9 volts as 9 volts, but I'm going to change this. Instead of having 4.5 kilo ohms, I know that that is 4,500 ohms. And so when I do the division, and I take 9 and divide by 4,500, it should come out to 0 0.0. .0 zero two amps and if I do my conversions correctly that's really the same as saying two milliamps so there I've used Ohm's law I is equal to V over R substituted in the battery voltage substituted in the resistance value and determine the current of the circuit. What I want you to do is to do the same thing except I want you to put in a new value for voltage and resistance.